Michelle and Ramsey's the cat. He's decided to hang out with me today. Um, I just wanted to do a quick update. I've not done one in a while. Um, I had uh, reconstructive surgery, I guess you can call it, plastic surgery, uh, six, week, six and a half weeks ago. I had it Tuesday, um, July 21st in Fayetteville, Arkansas at Physician Specialty Hospital and Dr. Jeff Sweatman of Sweatman Cosmetic Surgery in Fayetteville, Arkansas was my surgeon. And I'll leave uh, his Facebook page below. I'm telling you, I drove eight hours for him. He is hands down the best surgeon. I had a couple consults um, before I decided to go to him. And I'm telling you, I left the other surgeon's office with that feeling of um, uncertainty and a little bit nervous. I left his office going, he's the man. He's the one that's going to do this. And that is something, with something as major as I had, it really makes a difference. Now, um, I had, for those of you that don't remember, <coughs> sorry, I've got bronchitis. Of course, after major abdominal surgery, I ended up with bronchitis. Um, I had a full body lift with the fluor de lis component and they removed 42 pounds of gook off of my abdomen area. Um, I started my journey in 2013. I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy, the first best decision besides of course my husband and my kids um, I ever made. I weighed 418 pounds. My highest weight was 424 pounds that I know of documented, documented and I have lost 209 pounds so I have lost half my body weight now that does fluctuate every day um, I swell like I can see it in my face in the the phone right now uh, my face is a little puffy um, it, it'll all depend on the day actually I can weigh anywhere it just it fluctuates about 10 pounds so that's okay I'm okay with that um, I'm really working hard to not eat salts to drink all my water and that seems to be my hardest part is drinking my water there is a couple other things I would like to suggest um, I'm sorry I'm a little hyper and a little scattered I have not started back on my ADHD medicine which I think I'm gonna have to because um, you know squirrel all the time so let me I apologize for that ahead of time um, I uh, recommend to you I had a, a, a good bit of liposuction done um, I did not bruise I did not have the first bruise and I did a lot of research beforehand and I read about Arnica and my surgeon actually recommended Arnica um, for bruising and all of that and also bromelain 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 I believe it's called it is a enzyme that's in pineapple and I took that religiously matter of fact I'm still taking the bromelain because it's also just good for a lot of other things it's nothing more <coughs> I do apologize then a um, enzyme that's found in, pine found in pineapples I get mine from a company called piping rock and I research I mean that's what I do I I'm neurotic about that I want to know everything there is to know about something before I do it before I buy it anything like the surgery I watched three different surgery procedures um, before I had mine done because that's just I, I that's just me I like to know I don't want to know what to expect but anyway um, piping rock is an amazing company um, I've used their supplements I use their essential oils I have not had a dud yet and I will leave a um, affiliate link down below where you can save either $10 off a $40 or more purchase or $5 off anything under $40 they're awesome that's where I got my Arnica and my bromelain and they do a lot of buy one get one freeze and actually that's how I got uh, the bromelain <coughs> I'm sorry it's getting time for a breathing treatment um, but I highly recommend both of those so I will leave that link below and also uh, how you can find Dr. Sweatnam's Facebook page also below um, I'll get back to my my surgery um, it went really well I did have a couple of complications nothing 
serious, nothing that caused me any kind of regret. Trust me, I have no regrets whatsoever about this surgery. Um, I love the fact that the compression garment that I'm wearing is an extra large and I have to go to Walmart today to get a smaller one because this one's getting too small. And that's just crazy to me because I started out shirts in a 6X and I've been buying XLs and I didn't even really have, nothing was done up here. And the only reason why I'm in XLs is because I have, you know, the bat wings. And so that's something that I'm going to try to work on in the gym. I've had several people ask me if I'm ever going to have like my arms and my thighs done. Um, I don't know. I, I don't see how I can afford it because this was cash. Uh, we, we, we did the self pay and it was nothing more than the grace of God that this was able to happen. And I'm so very thankful that it was able to happen. But I got the part that was causing me problems done. I had chronic back aches. Um, and I've had a lot of people ask me, by the way, if this hurt, if this surgery is painful. No, not compared to what I was dealing with before. And plus, I have a super high pain tolerance. And I really, I took the pain medicine that was prescribed for me to help me sleep after surgery. I really didn't need it for pain. Um, that's just remarkable to me that I'm literally cut all the way around. I've been filleted, cut in half and filleted, and there's been no pain. Um, the only pain I had was like pulling tape off or, you know, something like that. Um, there's been very little pain. But I think even if there was any pain, it would have been a huge improvement over what I was dealing with before. Because that 42 pounds that he took off was all in my, my abdomen area. So can you imagine walking, and I was carrying that, um, the skin infections. I won't gross you out by going into that. Um, it's just... It was horrible horrible and I was using this stuff called and I highly recommend this stuff I got it from Amazon and it's called lady anti anti monkey butt powder um, it's a non it's a friction powder and I would put that under <laughs> my slap flap is what I called it um, I would put that under there and it really did help uh, I had horrible horrible rashes breakouts skin infections um, the hygiene issue it was so hard to keep clean and when I go to the gym it got to the point where I could not even go to the gym anymore because especially in the summertime I live in Mississippi well let me tell you if you've never been through a Mississippi summer you don't know what hot is you know well in the south basically because of the humidity um, there'd be days we'd have 80 90 percent humidity and there's so much difference between a dry heat and a humid hit heat um, but anyway, again, squirrel, um, I got to where I couldn't even do that because it would just, it would, the, the rashes would get so bad. My back would hurt me so bad. Um, I couldn't do abdominals things because you can imagine, and I might have the nerve eventually to post the picture, um, that was taken for my insurance purposes when we were trying to get insurance to pay for this. Um, I don't know if I can. It's pretty humiliating. Uh, but I'm pretty proud of where I am right now. Um, I got 20 to 30, maybe even up to 40 more pounds to lose. And I, it makes me feel so good because I have people say, where are you going to, you know, wh where are you going to lose this at? I'm hoping my arms and my thighs. Um, I have jello thighs is what I like to call them. It seems that when I swell, I swell in my legs. And my I have my grandmother's legs <sighs> of all the things I get her legs um, and they're men's legs so you know they're, they're not real proportion but um, I think with those I could do a lot of exercises and stuff to kind of fix that in my arms um, so that's where I'd like to lose more weight and my stomach I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it I'd like to tone it up and to firm it up <coughs> But I'm I'm pretty excited to where I am now. I'm still considered overweight on the BMI chart But let me tell you I'm very happily overweight um, 
it's better than being super morbidly obese or morbidly obese or actually my surgeon um, my that did my sleeve classified me as super super morbidly obese um, when I started this journey my BMI was 65.5 I had high blood pressure. I was a type 2 diabetic. I um, had human growth hormone deficiency. I had um, cholesterol, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, I mean, I could go on. Hypothyroidism, which I still have because once you get that, it's pretty hard to get rid of that. Um, but anyway, back to <laughs> my surgery. Um, I have good days and bad days still. There's some days that I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted all day long. Um, and one of the complications that I did have is my incision separated. Um, they had to actually remove the drain early. I really think it's because of my coughing because I, I followed his instructions to a T, but I would wake up in the middle of the night with these horrible coughing fits. And we thought it was the irritation from the tube during surgery. But when I came home, and I stayed at my mother's for a month, but when I came home, it got so bad that I came home on a Wednesday and was at the doctor's office Monday, and she diagnosed me with bronchitis. Um, thankfully, there was no pneumonia had set up. <clears throat> so that might have had the beginnings of the bronchitis when I was there or some sort of respiratory infection. Um, but I think that's what caused it. I, you know, I don't know for sure. And it's not a big, well, it is a big deal, but thankfully there was no infection. He had me on antibiotics for about three weeks, I think. <coughs> and then um, there was no infection. I keep it clean. I wash it uh, two to three times a day, depending on if it needs it, um, with ivory soap. Uh, that's what he suggested. And I just put maxi pads over it to keep the drainage from, from getting out and stuff. Um, it's draining a lot less than it was. Uh, I'm hoping in another week or two that I can stop having to wear the pads because it's really uncomfortable. Um, but I'm very pleased. My scar looks great everywhere else except for the front part where, where it's still separated. Um, I am able to stand up straight. I've always had bad posture and I, well not always, but the past few years I've had really bad posture and I've blamed it on the weight of my gut and I think now it's just a habit that I'm going to have to force myself to um, have better posture so you can tell how tired I am by the slouch pretty much um, well let's we'll see what else the surgery itself was I mean I had no issues the only issue I had um, was at night that the first night when I kept trying to get up and that ended up being my blood pressure issue and um, I that was taken care of uh, they flushed IV fluids through me and as soon as they did that uh, I was able to get up and go home uh, I was initially supposed to stay two nights in the hospital and I only ended up staying one night which I'm very thankful for I don't I don't like hospitals and it's crazy I didn't mind the hospital what I don't like is the IV port that they would not take out of my arm. And I know that sounds crazy of all things in a hospital not to like. I, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know. I can't stand IVs. Can't, I cannot handle them. The quicker you can get one out of me, the happier this girl is. So I got to go home. I stayed at my mom's for a month, um, which was awesome. I loved visiting with my mom. I did go into a very deep depression, I think around week two, and that's when the incision opened up, and I'm sure that had a lot to do with it. I know from my past surgeries, um, I, I go through a depression, but I was also taking some Balta. Um, I have fibromyalgia, and um, I also went through a period after I lost all the weight, or lost a bunch of weight, that I, had serious serious um, anxiety I'm talking there could have been a drop in the water and it turned into a tsunami I mean it was horrible so my doctor put me on Cymbalta because I'd been on it before and I had really good success with it but let me tell you coming off of that stuff is not easy I had to stop taking it prior to surgery about oh four or five days before surgery they suggested the hospital told me to stop taking it so I did and um, 
I didn't take it at my mom's because I thought, well, I've gone this long without it. And I think that also intensified uh, the depression. And plus I was away from my husband. And my husband and I, we're one of those couples that still kind of nauseate you. We cuddle, we hold hands. Um, we've been married for a long time, over 20 years. Um, matter of fact, we're grandparents. And we still, I mean, even when we're mad, you know, it's like, I love you, I love you too, you know, kind of thing. Um, that's just the way we are. Um, I've never been away from him that long before. And I was away from my son, my, both my boys. Um, I don't do well without my people around. Of course, I was with my mom and look at me crying already, just thinking about it. I was with my mom, which if I was not with my mother, I don't think I could have done it. Um, I don't think I could have stayed away as long. But after that separated, um, it was the best thing for me to stay because I was an hour away, whereas if I had come home, I'd been eight hours away. And that's not not a good thing. So um, it was good that I stayed. And I got over that. Um, I talked to a friend of mine who I have to say, was my saving grace. She texted me every single day, Christy Jones, if you're watching this, look at me crying. <laughs> you don't know what that meant to me. The every day checking on me that some days that got me through. Um, but anyway, she had told me about taking Creel oil or Omega Reds and vitamin D. Uh, she also suggested another one. I can't remember what it was. Was it K? I don't remember. Um, but I was not able to find that in the stores when mom and I would go. So I did do the krill oil and the vitamin D and that really did help. Um, I started noticing a difference. That one week was horrible. I wanted to just curl up somewhere and just sleep until it was all over with. Um, but I added that into my vitamin regimen, which my vitamins I'm, I'm very particular on. I take all my B vitamins. I take a multivitamin without iron and trying to find a multivitamin without iron in the, the drugstore Walmart is really hard. So I have to buy the Centrum, <coughs> excuse me, over 50 because that does not have iron in it. I have very high, um, my blood count is always really high and my iron is always high. And I have to say, I've never understood why, but I think God had my back on that one too because, because of that, even though they took 42 pounds off, I didn't have to have a blood transfusion or anything like that. So that was really, really good. Um, but I do take the B vitamins, my iron. I do take krill oil now. Um, I added, went ahead and added that into my daily routine. Um, of course, biotin for my hair. My hair has gotten so thin, it's pitiful. Um, I do a B12 shot once a month, but it's actually been a couple months since I've done that. And I've kept up the um, bromelain and I take that in between meals. Uh, just to help with inflammation. Um, I do notice that I swell more when I don't have that into my rotation. Um, this video has ended up being a lot longer uh, than I intended. I'm sure it's all over the place and I'm sorry for that. I'm actually feeling really good today. Um, one of the first days since I had the bronchitis that I really am feeling like myself. So that's good. Uh, getting ready to go to Walmart, which will probably ruin the, the really good mood I'm in because it's Friday. And my town is a retail weekend town. So all retail stores I generally don't go to on Friday, but my son uh, started back school yesterday. My baby's in eighth grade and I don't know how to handle that. Um, and I've got to pick up a few things for him. So anyway, I want to thank you all for watching and I will try to, I've got another video um, in mind and it's what not to say to a weight loss surgery patient. You know what I mean. We've all had those people that were, that say things that you're like, please Jesus, keep me calm. It's so bad. I wear this shirt a lot. It's from my church. It says love first and you're supposed to remember that, that you know, love first. We, we, we love people first. And there's sometimes I have to wear the shirt just to remind me. Notice I'm going to Walmart on a Friday and I've got my love first shirt on to remind myself, be nice, be nice. Um, but anyway, so I'm kind of working on that and I'll try to be more together um, on my next video. Uh, 
who knows I'm trying to do it maybe this evening you have a blessed day be beautiful in everything you do and I will talk to you all later bye bye